Police arrested an Orlando man for attacking a flamingo. It's the Breakfast Club, bitches. Donkey of the day with Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Um, I just want the barbs to know that DJ Booth has sent me the record. He has. Uh, he's in Detroit, so mm -hmm. he sent me the remix, and I sent it to Envy. So if Envy don't play it, he's hating. Just Booth sent it to me, too. I just want Oh, he sent it to Envy, too. Yeah, so Booth I, sent it to me. He's so in Detroit. I just want to throw that out there, barbs. If Envy don't play it this morning in his People's Choice mix, he's hating. All right? I agree. Okay. <laughs> Donkey of the day for Monday, July 22nd goes to De'Arica Cooks, okay? She's 22 years old and hails from the great state we call Florida. Now, I was in Miami this weekend. Uh, beautiful place, man. Beautiful state. All I can ever think about when I'm in Florida is how this beautiful state breeds the craziest people. All right, you know what your Uncle Charlotte says? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. All right, see, the problem with Florida is the slightest misunderstanding can end in a life or death situation, or become a life or death situation, all right? The things that are no big deal to the rest of America, hell, to the rest of the world, can cost you your life in Florida. Now, Dierica has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon uh, without intent to kill and is being held on a $1,500 bond. Now, what did Dierica Cooks do? Let's go to Newswatch Daily for the report, please. Police in Florida say a woman was arrested this week and accused of aggravated assault when she attacked another woman who denied her a slice of pizza. According to the St. Augustine record, Cooks became angry after the unidentified woman said no to her request for a slice. An offense report says Cooks told the woman I'm going to cut you with a steak knife in her hand, and then tried to attack her. The report adds that a male bystander was able to take the knife away from Cooks, but she soon found another one. Cooks told investigators she did not remember much of the incident. I don't remember a goddamn thing, all right? Last time I saw people fight over a slice of pizza, it wasn't people. It was the Ninja Turtles. Hands off my pizza. I'm sure Michelangelo and Raphael have had a three-finger fist fight over a pizza slice before, but never have I heard of such madness in real life. Now, when I was a young jit in these streets, I've gotten into fist fights over stupid stuff like a deuce, deuce, or butt ice, but that's because I was already drunk, all right? We all were. Now, unless there's some drugs and alcohol involved in this situation, I'm just going to blame it on the crazy of Florida. Now, listen, we have to discuss something about this situation. This is a teachable moment, because a lot of times people ask you things not because they really want an answer, be but it's because they already have the answer they want in their mind. So you may ask me something, and I may say no. And guess what? You got to respect that no. All right? The only reason Dierica reacted with violence is because she didn't get what she wanted. And that's the thing about asking for something. When you ask for something, you have to take that yes the same way you take that no. You get told yes, great, you got what you wanted. You get told no, then you better have a plan B. Dierica didn't have a plan B because she didn't have no money. And that's what really hurt her. I bet whoever told her no told her to go get her own damn pizza. And when Dierica tapped her pockets and realized she didn't have no money to get her own damn pizza, that's what set her off, all right? F that, all right? Don't say yes if you really want to say no, and don't say maybe if you really want to say no. And the moral of the story is learn to accept the no. Okay, kids? Right, you'll be told no many times in your life. Getting angry and upset only leads to more problems, okay? If you are able to appropriately accept a no answer, people might be more likely to say yes to your request in the future. If you are told no, don't mean mug me. All right, don't make faces, cut your eyes, and look away. All right, if you are upset, control your emotions. Try to relax and stay calm, all right? Listening carefully will help you understand what the other person is saying. And in this case, the person said, no, bitch, you can't have my pizza, all right? And that's that. Please give Dierica, what's her last name? Dierica uh, Cooks, the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All right. Except my no, damn it. Charlemagne the God here, and today's Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoft. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey.